Drummond, Flynn Drummond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I've heard from a number of constituents in the travel and tourist industry who are very concerned about staying in business over the next six months. I therefore welcome my right honourable friend's recent proposal to reduce quarantine to seven days and the use of testing capacity at major airports like Heathrow. What can the government do to help smaller regional airports such as Southampton create their own testing capacity? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My honourable friend is absolutely right, and actually it links to the previous question. And as much as you know, we have to get this economy going, and if we're going to have to live with coronavirus for quite some time, uh, then we need to do that by uh, ensuring economic activity can continue. Indeed, people continue to travel by coach, COVID safely, uh, but also by uh, air. Uh, and the Global Travel uh, Task Force is working on the implementation of really some quite complex issues related to, for example, my humble friend mentions testing at airports, whether testing at airports actually provides the solution. And as we know, uh, what's required at the moment, according to the best science, is still a period of self-isolation followed by a test, which could, of course, take place either at an airport or perhaps even at a more convenient, more local uh, location. And that is what the Global Task Force is working on with the airports, with the travel sector uh, and with the academics as well as the uh, medical experts in order to implement exactly that kind of system to assist the uh, entire industry. Yes,